Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and check out this beauty. This is a bamboo box. And there is a 23 inch scale fretboard. A Lowe's fretboard with a Doug Fir neck that has not been finished. This is unfinished. And the reason why I left it unfinished is because the box itself is unfinished and I wanted to give the customer the opportunity to finish it however they like. But anyhow, I want you to notice here that the John 316 pick is strategically located right underneath the sound hole. The uh, piezo is mounted directly to the to the jack there. Simple design, and sometimes simple is best. We are strung up and tuned up. So I have the 44 gauge tuned to E. I have the 34 gauge tuned to B. And the 26 gauge tuned to E. So I'm plugged into the Roland. This one here is the Mobile Cube. And I don't know if you can see the settings there. <clears throat> I don't use this amp much because it's top heavy and it always falls over. If you just look at it sideways, it tips over. Here's a fun little ditty I like to play with my fingers.
And since this is a Jesus guitar, I figured I could play this. And here's a fun little thing I've been working on. All right, that's about a wrap for this video. I did want to show you here up close and personal first, and then just explain a couple of different things. So right off the bat, like I showed in the opening scene of this video here, this piezo is just hardwired directly to the jack. There is no volume control here, no switches, no nothing. It's just a hardwired straight to the jack. So you're gonna have to use your amplifier to control your volume and on and off and whatnot. I do have the hinge. I do have the string through here, or the string catch here on the back here. And the reason being is because I didn't want this saddle to interrupt or cover the words here. So this was strategic here. I wanted, I moved everything back so that the saddle would be out of the way of the words. And so as a result, I had to compromise on the fret, the number of frets. So this one here has has only, uh, this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So typically I go with 19 frets, right? But that would put the saddle like right here and that would, that would interrupt with the words, right? 
And since this is a John 3.16, and since this scripture is so valid and so important, I didn't want to mess with it at all. Okay, so that being said, there's a, I'll show you a couple of tricks that you can do here with this, with the number of frets here. But before I did that, I wanted to also point out here that notice how there's no screws on here. So this box shuts so tightly with just this little latch here that I didn't need any screws. Okay, the, this top is solid, man. It's like, and when that thing snaps down in place, dude, it is just like rock, rock solid. So I figured, well, I don't need to reinforce this thing with screws. And so I said, screw it. And so, which, which means to open this thing up, it's real easy. All you do is take the strings off, right? Open it up and there you go, dude, right? Isn't that awesome? Uh, I would recommend marking this saddle here because you're gonna wanna put the saddle in the exact right spot so that you get the intonation to be right. Um, okay, another thing to notice here, as I pointed out in the earlier section, is notice how, well, first off, notice how the color just matches perfectly. That's like perfect. Even the grains match. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess with it, you know, and what I mean by mess with it is start, you know, dunking it, dunking it in uh, stain or paint or shellac or anything like that. So this neck is unfinished. I did do the solder burns here, but the neck has just been sanded only. And the reason being is because the box is unfinished. So the box is unfinished and so the, the neck matches the box. They're both unfinished. You can see those hinges there. Those are awesome butterfly hinges. This is just a great box. It's a bamboo box. Uh, let's see here, what else to point out here? Oh, I have learned to put the nail pointing up. All right, and so it's not a spiritual message to have the nail pointing up. It's a practical point because if you come over here, you don't wanna, you don't wanna be poking yourself by accidentally like, slamming into that sharp point because it is sharp um anyhow so yeah you could probably you could probably draw some spiritual significance between nails and jesus and three strings i mean there's there's so much there's so much that you can imply um i do have open gear tuners on the back and of course the hook that way you can put a nail and on the wall and hang that bad boy up but I did want to just uh, give you some little tips right here. So, because there is no 19th fret here, you only go up to the 18th fret, what I would do is I would just stick right here on these dots, which would be the 15th and 16th fret, right? And then, so I guess that would be, wait, wait, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 15 and 17 to stay on those two frets. And then, if you want to do those your blues lick, you can just you can just instead of bending it, you just so it's just a sneak up. That's actually the flat five, which is the blue note. So there is some use to having that extra fret right there. So with that being said, if you enjoy these cigar box guitar videos, or in this case here, the non-cigar box guitar videos, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And don't forget there are links to uh, pay, the Patreon and the t-shirts that I have for sale. All that stuff is also listed in the video description underneath that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care, guys. We are tuned up and strung up with the 44 tuned to E, the 34 tuned to B, and the 26 tuned to E. And I am using the Roland.
micro cube. These are the settings. We're way out of tune now. Mm -hmm. 